This is a question that so many people have been asking lately regarding why now? Why now did they decide to come after the alleged killer of Tupac? Well, you know, I think there's a much bigger picture to the story. There's a hidden hand that they're really after. Is it P. Diddy? We really don't know. Is it somebody beyond P. Diddy? We really don't know. But there's a reason why they're coming after the so-called killer now. What I find interesting, and I want to talk about two thoughts that came to my mind. The first thought was an interview that Suge Knight had just done with TMZ and how he refused to come forward. What I find interesting about that is that Keefe D bragged about the reaction of Tupac when those rounds were hitting him. He also mentioned about Suge Knight and how they thought they killed Suge Knight or thought that he was dead because he was shot in the head. Why after all this time, Suge Knight did not do anything to get revenge? I thought Suge Knight was the one to be feared, but yet he saw the shooter. He knew who was in that vehicle. And yet to date, he did nothing to get back at them for not only killing Tupac, but also shooting him. I find that to be quite odd. Not only that, people are talking about P. Diddy and how he might be connected with that. Don't you find it interesting that the first time that Tupac was shot in Quad Studio, Puffy was there. Tupac said that Puffy was there. And you can see in that image where Tupac was being interviewed along with Biggie. And while Biggie spoke, Puffy looked scared. Okay, and I'm sure y'all remember that interview. It's on the internet. You can still find it. But I want you to listen to Suge Knight when he was being interviewed by TMZ. Check this out. Fair use. Tell me what your reaction is to the arrest of Keefe D. Well, surprise number one, because I didn't think um, Keefe D would never get arrested. Why didn't he think Keefe D would ever get arrested? Why? What does Suge Knight know that no one else knows? For him to say that he didn't think Keefe D would ever get arrested. Why is that when he was in the vehicle? Nor do I want to see him get arrested. You know, let's get one thing uh, straight. First and foremost, you know, me and Keefe D played on the same power water football team. And whatever the circumstances, if he had an involvement with anything, if he didn't have any involvement with anything, I who want to see? I wouldn't wish somebody to go to prison on my worst enemy. The DA's... Really? Okay, now, if you think back, Tupac was killed for that alleged fight that he had with Anderson. But yet, they played on the football team, and he don't wish that on his worst enemy, but he was caught up in the gunfire. But yet, he don't want no revenge on the person that he saw in the vehicle. Suge Knight saw who did the shooting, but yet he is still holding his tongue. Who does Suge Knight fear? Who's the hidden hand that scares Suge Knight? Says that Keefe D was in the car with his nephew and that presumably his nephew, according to the DA, is the one that shot Tupac and that it was done with the full knowledge of Keefe. Um, do they have it right? There was only two people in the car and Pac not going to tell the story. I ain't going to tell the story, but I tell you this. And I, I never had nothing bad to say about uh, uh, Orlando because 
Number one, he wasn't a shooter. Number two, he came to my ear and told to let me go and tell the truth. They still didn't let me go. If you are called to testify in this case, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. Why not? Yeah, I wouldn't be. Why not? Well, number one, okay, because I'm not going to get on the stand and testify on somebody for what? They seem to be saying that Orlando was the shooter and Keefe was in on it, that he had full knowledge of what was going down and it was revenge for Orlando getting beaten up by Tupac and his team uh, at the MGM after the Tyson fight. Is that correct? No. Then who shot Tupac? It wasn't Anderson, so that's all I got to say about that part. To summarize, you are saying Orlando was not the shooter, although you won't say who the shooter was. You are not saying whether Keefe was involved in any way in the shooting. Um, and you are saying that if you're called to testify by either side, you will not comply. You will not testify. Do I have that right? A thousand percent. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't testify. None of that. You know, at the end of the day, free Keefe D. You know what's really in? Wait a minute. He says free Keefe D. You mean to tell me you don't want revenge on someone that took part in you being shot in the head? You could have been like Tupac, but you lived. So now my question is, did Suge Knight have anything to do with the plot to take out Tupac? Was Biggie, Suge Knight, and Keefe D all in cahoots with what happened to Tupac. And they're also saying that the, the, the killing of Biggie and the killing of Tupac goes hand in hand. They're connected. So I find it interesting, like I said, that Biggie was around. He was there, like Tupac said, when Tupac was first shot, and now that Tupac is gone, they're saying that Puffy has something to do with it. So I think there's a hidden hand. I don't think it's really so much as Tupac. Tupac is you being used as a pawn, but it's funny to me that so many so-called tough gangbangers or thugs are so afraid that their mouths are sealed. They're not saying nothing. But yet, Keefe is allowed to continue living. And to my knowledge, no one at all took any type of shot at those that were involved in the disappearance of Tupac. So I find that to be quite interesting. There's a hidden hand. So it's not really uh, the alleged killer of Tupac or Keefe D and maybe not even P. Diddy because why would they want P. Diddy? This is another hidden hand that's not even mentioned and I find it interesting that Suge Knight said that he didn't think that Keefe D would ever be arrested. And then he says, free Keefe D, why, when this man was there, when you were shot? So did Suge Knight have something to do with Tupac being deleted? So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the Cash App, support the channel. Till next time. I'm fearless.